speaking of interesting times, we caught up with the Bentley boys when they were in South Africa for the Kailami Nine Hour. Off track, but on course. With the announcement that Bentley's factory-led GT3 program will come to an end this season, we went driving with the M Sport crew leading the championship charge, just on a different course. I'll put it in anyway. <laughs> Does it feel the wrong hand or what? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. What, I'm, what, am I, what, what I'm about to do here. I'm really relieved that uh, this year's event isn't happening in November because if you remember last year, the Bentley boys are quite a colourful bunch and they arrived wearing full Movember tashes. Golf is what they do in their part time and I'm pretty scared to see what they're going to be dressed like because they're quite colourful characters. But what's quite cool, we've actually organised Royal Johannesburg and Kensington Country Club. Chris, just, I'm going to love this. Your surname? Bentley, believe I mean, it or not. These little choppers all claim to be the Bentley boys, and yeah, we've got an actual Bentley boy. Hello, they guys. They get the real thing today. They get the How real. They get the real thing. Hello. I can see one golf player yeah, for sure. The real deal. <laughs> Max, you ready? Always. New challenge. Uh, guys, have you played here before? Yeah, Jordan. I, I used to play here when I was a kid. Actually, a lot of like school tournaments. So, okay. home track advantage. Okay, we've got, a couple, we've got a couple of challenges lined up for them. Um, what I find quite interesting, we know they are all drivers, but I want to see who's got a short game. So I've got a couple of challenges. We're going to do a little putting challenge uh, off the tee and also a little uh, a chip, see who's got the good feel. Just to warm up for winning the title this weekend. I'm going to have to Google everything, I think. Off how, the tee. How to cheat, <laughs> how to hit a tee shot. Wow. Oh, I've got a shot then. Okay, you hit it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so one goes left, one goes right. Max, you going down the middle. True. Huh? I need help here. So, look, I need to help the dad. Oh my god. So you take the ball. Là, comme ça. Vas-y, mets toi en face. You put the ball close to the front feet. Stands a bit wider. Come so? Voilà. Et là, tu joues. I think it's going to go that way. Can I move a bit this way? Yeah. Can you see this? Mets-toi un petit peu penché, tu sais, flappé comme ça, tu sais, un petit peu tonique. This is his first shot. Yeah. Wow. Okay. First shot in his life. No! Oh, hey! <laughs> see, Not far, but... No. <laughs> Max, Max, you've won. You win the first challenge. <laughs> because none of them are on the fairway. Jules is on the wrong you fairway. You say longest. No, you say longest. Yeah, otherwise but we longest, hit, uh... you've always got to be within the boundary. You ah, play. Fair on, play, you, fair you, play, you fair play. play. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. That was good. Nobody would have bet on that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> My arm hurts. <laughs> That's he's done. His golf is done. <laughs> now, he may be new to golf, but Maxine Soleil has been with the crew team the longest. Oh, jeez. Not too bad, huh? But, I mean, you've never hit a bloody golf ball in your life. I thought they were joking. No. But you've hit true. two sweet ones. Yeah. Probably but luck. They, they are now stressing. Has anything changed, Max, now that you are a, a dad? And I mean... I'm drinking wine. I'm <laughs> drinking wine a lot. I don't mean, I don't mean like you're not getting sleep and all that crazy stuff. From a driving perspective, do you find yourself, like, I don't know, maybe thinking about things a bit more? To be honest, uh, I was scared about it. There's a saying saying, uh, a kid is one second. And I was thinking about it all the time while my girlfriend was pregnant and I was like, if I'm one second slower, <laughs> my career is over, you know? And, uh, and then obviously that just happened yeah. and we won. So, uh, and I think... That was it, now you don't worry about it? No, anymore. I don't worry about it and I think it's quite fake story to be yeah. honest. It's actually quite cool because I mean Max has never played golf before so it's actually been awesome to see how they're all helping him and encouraging him and I think it's a good bonding session for them as well. Usually he would just come along and and drive, do what he normally does. Oh very very good. I mean, that is perfect feel, eh? Thank you. Direction's a bit off. Yeah, that's why I didn't want you to start first. Yeah, no, I know. 
You want a marker? No. To we'll mark see. it because you me. See. Well, but you know he won't come close. Down, down. He saw the line. Whoa, shot! Okay, so that's a nice thing, Max. You've seen where to hit it now, eh? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. No! <laughs> no! Yeah. Honestly! Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Boss! Oh eh? my god! Oh, I fell out my pocket, sorry. That's better. That's really, really good. Get in. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> good job, man. Even though you had two attempts, I think you've won that one as well, eh? I think so. Golf's easy going for Max. Yeah, Max is a pro. Full of flair and energy, Jules Gunion is a colourful character. And after his antics on course, we also dubbed him the Zola Bud of golf. Woo! Oh, brilliant. Your highlight has to be this year. Yeah. Bathurst 2020. The weekend started really badly. Uh, we break an engine on FP3, we don't drive. We go into Super Bowl, there's no preparation, anything. We don't make Super Bowl. We were P11, first of the non Super Bowl guys. Jordan had a great start Jordan in, that, in that stint. As, that usual, first stint was as mad. usual, it was crazy. So we came back to the field. Then Max had an amazing double stint before me, he came to the lead, pulled a gap. And uh, then I went in the car. And yeah, obviously the year before they were also leading with car eight, and uh, something happened, so they didn't want. So I, I felt a lot of the pressure, and I loved the, I remember the word. The word from Malcolm Winson, that is our boss, and he's a big name, a legend of motorsport, and he grabbed my forearm, he said, don't <laughs> And I was <laughs> on the helmet, getting ready into the car, I was like, okay, my stomach went. A well-earned victory, a fan favourite, the V8 Twin Turbo 4 litre Bentley Continental. We had all kinds of weather around us, lightning, but the thunder belongs to the guys from Crew and from M Sport as Bentley wins on the mountain. The Empire strikes back for the British brand. And Jules Gounon is remarkably happy. Ooh. That's a good shot. Bloody hell. There you go. Pressure's on, boy. Long. Okay. Oh, oh, nice shot. <laughs> Not bad. No, listen. Nice. Feels, huh? Listen, without a practice shot, he just steps up. Uh, yeah. I think I feel a bit wrong. I don't, uh, boink. <laughs> Let's see who a ringer. this one. I'm telling you. Yours, Jordan. Finally, you can win huh? something. Very, very nice. Win something, Jordan Peppers won most things on track and the hearts of South African racing fans. People don't think about the exhaustion side of things and actually getting rid of lactic acid, like you said. Yeah, especially, and you imagine there's three of us, obviously, and when, you, when you'll see all of us share the same seat, but we're not the same person. Yeah. So when we mold the seat, we try to have a, a happy compromise, but one of us probably ends up having like a, like my general issue is I always get like a sore neck, left shoulder type thing, or and also your legs when you're pushing the brake pedal 120 bar all the time for three hours, 10 times a lap, it, it gets quite stressful, you know? So you definitely, everyone laughs like, oh, rugby's probably a sport that, that needs physio or cricket because they're like stretching all the time and like fast bursts running into the, the pit, uh, into like bowl or something like that. And racing's just, yeah, we all drive to work and back every day. But you can imagine when it's so physical that it's, it's quite a big help. And, I never was actually a fan of it because I thought, nah, I'm yeah. strong, you know. And the first time, the first 24-hour event I did, after my like third double stint, I was like, if I don't have something done to me now, I'm not going to be able to get back in the car. People don't realize in the endurance races as well in the beginning, how do you shut down? Because it's like a full on, and you've just got out of a car, you're on edge, hyped up, adrenaline's pumping. Now that's it, you've got to go and sleep and rest because you're doing an next stint in five hours or whatever it is. How, how do you shut down from that? Because you must, I mean, in the beginning you said you wanted to watch what was going yeah, on, but now you trust your teammates. Yeah, especially when you've got two teammates as good as Jules and Max, who, who you know when they get in the car, they're going to give it 100%, you know. You, you never know what's going to happen, but you hope, obviously, for the best. The, you've got the team, you have to trust what they do on the strategy side of things. And the more you can wind down, I don't normally fall asleep, but I at least close my eyes and just try to rest. It's really, like, it pays, like, 
a real important role because you have to be the sharpest at the end because that's when the fight is on, you know, because it's a 24-hour sprint race and it always comes down to the last hour or two where you go all in and that's actually when you're going to drive at your best. So if you slightly f- fatigued, slightly tired, haven't eaten correctly, et cetera, et cetera, then it, then it plays a big role. So and it all starts from not just start of race it starts from the beginning of the week hydration yeah. everything build up through the week so well, it's amazing now remember i said to you how competitive these guys are and they're coming up with challenges they've come up with another one Explain how this works. Is it putting a speed factor to golf? Why am I not surprised that racing drivers want to go as quickly around the golf course as possible? What are we doing? Firstly, before we start here, yeah, we need four members. So as, as long as you're happy to join our team. Yeah, we're never going to win or finish it. So we'll break the Guinness <laughs> records. They don't even phone the buggers. What do we do? Uh, par four, play it in the quickest possible time. So we're going to leave Joel to hit off the tee. I'm going to hit the approach shot in. And then it's up to you and Max to finish, to finish. basically. Down the middle. Get close. Get close. There he comes. Incoming. This is good. On the fairway. Where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the fairway. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Go. Play the putter. Play the putter. No, no. Hey. No. Go. Go. That's a great shot. Oh! That's a great shot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, let me not cock this up. Yay! <laughs> How good was your shot? That one was great good. second shot. Yeah. And the drive, eh? Hey. <laughs> that was flipping unbelievable. But you've got to see oh, his man. shot. I, uh, I, you've got to see his shot. No, is he good? Huh? He put it with a pitching wedge from there and put it right <laughs> next to the no. I promise you. Okay, well done, boys. Yeah, that, was good. that was lacquer. That was lacquer. We're going to win. We're going to do everything for it. Be a nice way to close yeah. that chapter, eh? It will be a perfect way to close the chapter. Start the year, finish the year. Exactly. Cheers. We'll Cheers. drink to that, man. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's it, the end of an era for the crew from Crew and going out in flames is certainly not how the Bentley M Sport team would have wanted to have signed out, but I can guarantee you those three brilliant racing drivers, you'll see them in action this year.